Did anybody ever tell you you have kind of a childlike voice? Oh god, your voice is so annoying, it's so squeaky, it's so high. Frantic, grating, obnoxious. Take a shot of whiskey, that may help your voice like sound more rich. A woman's voice is not authoritative, people will not believe her. I got this letter in the mail, it's written on a note card, and it basically tells me that I sound like a Kardashian sister. Talking While Female, part of NPR's look at image and the changing lives of women. Okay, so why do women sound like they do? A lot of the pitch of a woman's voice is going to be driven by how tall you are and how much hormones you have. Women are smaller on average, and we have smaller voice boxes. You know, if you can imagine a big bass drum or a small drum. And studies have shown that lower-pitched voices are perceived as more confident. Wait, what? We did a study looking at voting behavior. We simply said, here's voice A. I urge you to vote for me this November. And here's voice B. I urge you to vote for me this November. Unvaryingly, people chose the lower-pitched voice. So the lesson is talk lower? So there have been many female candidates who have been coached up that way, right? There's the famous story of Margaret Thatcher. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Mm. It's a lowering, not a raising. But there's really a limit to the degree you can do that. And if I were to try to speak in my lowest register in a sustained way, I would sound ridiculous. And that actually leads to vocal fry. So what is vocal fry exactly? That's what happens when anyone drops their voice to its lowest register. It tends to fry or crackle or pop. Uh, Vocal fry. Our own studies have shown that both men and women tend to define the vocal fry voice as un trustworthy. And what is the deal with uptalk? Basically, this is ending a statement as if it were a question. You're going to go down the street and you're going to make a left, right? So the uptalk is a way of saying, I'm continuing, follow along with me. How do people in studies perceive uptalkers? They say things like, well, this person has no confidence. They're timid. They're deferential. So people don't like our voices or how we use them? We seem to have this biologically driven judgment that lower pitched voices connotate stronger, more trustworthy, more competent people. Maybe we can keep that in our minds when we're listening to someone speak in a high, squeaky, up-talky voice. And our brain goes, this is an idiot. (laughs) This is a person who is not very smart. This is a person who doesn't believe what she's saying and has no confidence. In fact, those qualities have nothing to do with this person that we're listening to. So what do you do? If you think about it, it just will make you crazy. I don't have vocal fry. Well, maybe I did just there. I don't know. I I did try to use a lower register of my voice. You know, for business, I try to sound more official. Hello, this is, you know. I don't think that I should have to change my voice. I would like to think that people are capable of listening to the content of what I'm saying. I have to find other ways to get people to take me seriously. and Maybe I won't wear bows in my hair anymore. I'm going to up talk. There's going to be some vocal fry. Everyone can deal. A lot of the attributes that uh, we admire in men, assertive, power, decisive, are things that we don't respect necessarily or welcome in women. 